Hey there, this is Matt Miller from Ditch That Textbook. And today we're gonna talk about a way that you can not just create flashcards for your students, but actually create flashcards with your students. And these are the kind that I bet that they're probably gonna wanna like, they're gonna, they're gonna want to make more than just the standard old uh, three and a half by five index cards. And so the tool that we're gonna be looking at today is this thing called the Flashcard Factory. Flashcard Factory is run by Pear Deck. And if you're not familiar with Pear Deck, it is a really cool option for teachers to create interactive slides. And so the Flashcard Factory is kind of a separate side of the whole Pear Deck thing. So we're gonna take a look at what this whole Flashcard Factory thing actually looks like. So we're gonna come over to the screen and if you wanna use Flashcard Factory, you wanna start at PearDeck.com. So if you go to PearDeck.com, you can create an account there for free. And then once you're logged in, you have uh, your teacher dashboard, which shows any other Pear Deck presentations that you've created or any other vocabulary lists or whatever. And so once you're here, basically what you wanna do is hit the new button and create a new vocabulary list. And so if you click to add this new vocabulary list, it will pop up a screen that sort of looks like this where you can type in terms and definitions, terms and definitions, and you can just make your list uh, straight down. Now what's nice about this is there's a couple of things. One is you type your term and then you can hit enter and jump down to the definition. Now if you don't wanna type the definition yourself and you wanna to try to pull it from the Merriam-Webster dictionary, you can just click on this find definitions button and it will pull in a definition for you that you can use. Now the example that I've got here are just Spanish colors, azul for blue, and then if I wanted to add one more, let's do like verde for green. And then I just hit enter if I wanted another one. So you do this basically all the way until you're done. And if you have a simple vocabulary list, this is gonna be pretty fast. Now once you get done with that and you, you're ready to get started, you hit this button up here that says play flashcard factory. Now, once you do that, it's gonna launch you into this screen where students can join. And so the students on their own devices are gonna go to joinpd.com and they're gonna type in a code. This happens to be a code that I'm using right now. <laughs> Chances are, if you try to use this code right now while you're watching the video, it's not gonna connect you to anything. And so students can use whatever device. I'm gonna log in with my cell phone. You could use Chromebooks, uh, laptops, desktop computers, whatever. Okay, so you can see right up here in the corner, it says one worker has joined. This whole flashcard factory thing is kind of like you got workers who are on shifts in the factory and you know, kind of plays off of that. And so once all of your students have joined, you hit, continuing on with the theme, clock in. So we're gonna go ahead and clock in and you'll notice that it puts them into two different teams, either the day shift or the night shift. And so you have as many students as you need to in this, Apparently I got assigned to the night shift. I have to change up my sleep schedule, but hey, I'm okay with that. If you don't like the way that the teams are mixed up, you can hit shuffle teams. Basically the reason that the teams exist is it gives an extra little layer of competition, so to speak, because as these flashcards are being created, whichever team ends up with the most flashcards that are approved ends up with the more points and ends up winning. So it gives them an extra layer of motivation to do good work. So let's play. So we hit the let's play button here and now we're in the factory. And you'll see that here are our terms over here. And so if I come over here to my cell phone, it says draw an example of amarillo, which is yellow. So if I hit draw an example, it's gonna pull up this blank screen where I can draw a picture. Now drawing a picture of the word yellow may not be so easy unless I'm making something that's yellow. Okay, so here's my drawing of something that's yellow. I drew a B. Now what's nice about this is that you can change the size of your brush and you can also change the color. You can use an eraser, make a line, and even add some text. And so having all of those available to your students makes it a little easier for them to make these pictures. And these are the pictures that are going to go onto the flashcards um, in the end. So as soon as I'm done with that, I hit I'm done. It asks me to write an example. So if I wanna write an example sentence, I could say something simple like, the B is yellow. And as soon as it's done, now it says, 
looks good, ship it. So I'm gonna go ahead and ship it. And you notice right there, there goes my bee falling onto the conveyor belt, which is kind of fun to be able to see everybody's cards just falling onto the conveyor belt. So once that's done, once all of the students have gone through as many of the terms as you want, and you as the teacher have the control to skip on past uh, whenever you're ready. So you can hit, go on to the next phase as soon as you want to. So if you want to wait until everybody's done with all the cards, that's great. If you want to just move on at some point because you're ready to move on, go ahead and hit that. Now I found um, working with some students today that it took us maybe 15 minutes or so to get through a list of about mm, seven or eight flashcards, something like that. Um, as soon, after students get the hang of it, they can probably fly through them a little bit faster. Okay, so we hit quality control and now we see here is the one card. Now if there were more cards, they would be down here at the bottom. And we can decide from here, do we want to approve this one or reject it? Now, every one that you approve is going to become a flashcard in your flashcard set. So just think about that. If you have multiple ones for the same term, that means you're going to have multiple cards for that same term in it. So, um, you know, for me, if I wanted two or three of them that said Amarillo because I liked all of their examples, then that's fine. But if I only wanted one, then I would only approve one. So what you can do with this screen is you can put it up on the projector if you've got one and let the students look and let them decide which one they like the best. Uh, if you don't have time for that or if you just don't have any interest in doing that, you can always keep this on your teacher device and you can approve them that way. And so we look at this one, we decide we like it, we hit that green check button. <laughs> and if there are more cards than that, it puts a stamp on that card. And then you can move on to the next one and decide, do we want to stamp to approve it or stamp to deny it? And as soon as you're done, then your set is complete. So now that you're done, here's part of the amazing, the amazingness we can say about this flashcard factory thing is that once you're done, you can export this to Quizlet. So I've been making Quizlet flashcards for years. Um, you know, Quizlet is this digital online flashcard creation tool and it makes it really fast and easy to create digital flashcards. And so you can take these terms that you've already made with the pictures and the example sentences that your students created and put them out into a Quizlet set. So I'm going to hit export to Quizlet. You give it a name, um, three Spanish colors and a B. <laughs> You can decide if you want to password protect that flashcard set so it's just for your students or do you want to make it public. And so I'll hit make mine public, we'll publish it without a password and we hit publish and now it's on its way to Quizlet and then there you go. So basically what it does is it publishes this flashcard set through Pear Deck's account with Quizlet. So even if you don't have the Pro or the Plus version of Quizlet which allows you to publish those pictures. Pear Deck does, and you're able to publish through their account. So you've published your flashcard set to Quizlet. We can click here to see the link, and there it is right there. And so what's great about this is not only are you creating new flashcards, but you're also creating flashcards with your students. And so they're the ones that are drawing the pictures. They're the ones that are writing the example sentences. They have a say in it. So it gives them a little bit more ownership. And plus, when you've got the pictures, of course, that always boosts your ability to remember things, as if you have an image to tie back to it. And if it's student-created art, hey, that's even better. So uh, the Flashcard Factory is a free part of Pear Deck, so head on over to PearDeck.com if you haven't already to create an account and start making those flashcards uh, with your students, of course. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and a like. If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel for even more videos just like this, and I'll see you in the next video.